Mr. Martin, as a man who lives across the Bay in Oakland, I say welcome to the Bay Area in San Francisco. What does it mean to be a San Francisco 49er? Well, I'm very excited to represent my organization. Uh, I grew up in California my whole life, went to high school, played at USC, and now uh, having this opportunity to represent the 49ers and play for the 49ers is amazing. I'm so thankful and blessed. How about a team that focuses so heavily on running the football, one of the rare teams in the NFL that does that? Yeah, I mean, that's exciting because that's one thing that I excel at. You know, I know Coach Harbaugh likes to run that power, and I'm, I'm a run blocker, so I'm looking forward to it. Marcus, can you talk a little bit about your versatility as far as your ability to play guard and center? Right. Uh, my versatility allows me to play left guard, uh, center, and right guard. I had experience at all three while I was at USC. And, um, I only played one year at center, so I mean, I could play anything along the interior offensive line. Did you have any sense that the 49ers would take you? I had no idea, honestly. You know, I, I initially was expecting to be a late first, second rounder, and uh, you know, it just kept on going. The uh, the round just kept on going and going, and I just sat there. I was the last guy in the green room, and the 49ers called me, and I was just so excited and, and happy and, and just thankful, and I'm blessed. What, what was your level of contact with them during the pre-draft process? Oh, I, I think I might have talked to the 49ers one time. <laughs> what did you think of all the trades that they made? I thought, okay. I thought schematically, like, it was very smart. You know, they kept trading and getting good good guys, and, and, and uh, you know, they did everything in their power to make sure they could get as many guys on their team as they could. And, and that's great for our organization. It's going to bring out a, a nice competitiveness on the field. How did you entertain yourself in the green room through both days? Well, I mean, I just sat there with my family. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to have my mother, my uh, father, and my, one of my closest friends. So I called my brother sitting at my table. So, you know, it was just a matter of when, where, and, you know, when it would happen. Anybody providing jokes or a little levity? <laughs> I mean, we tried to stay uh, away from the jokes. We tried to keep it all business, but, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where you can't predict where you're going to go. You know, you don't know. You don't, you, you're not on the phone with the GM or the head coach. You're not in the war room. So all you can do is sit there. And while I was sitting there, I tried to do everything possible to not think about football, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> or some things you were thinking about. Lunch tomorrow? Or? Lunch, uh, getting back to California tomorrow <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> the Trojans had a pretty tough season last year with Lane Kiffin being dismissed and you getting Ed Ogeron and now – Steve Sarkeesian taking over. What did you learn through that experience, maybe some of that tumultuous time that you think could help you at the next level? I think that I learned how to uh, assess situations better, you know. Being put in different situations, like having to hold a press conference 30 minutes after Coach Kiffin gets fired and speaking on national TV about what I think is going to happen as a captain and a, and a leader of the offensive line. It allowed me to just develop, and, and like I said, I'm able to assess situations better now because of what I went through at USC. It seems like there's a theme today for the 49ers, being physical. Can you talk a little bit about how your game will contribute to that? Well, I promise, uh, as a San Francisco 49er, I'm going to be one of the most physically dominant players on that field, and I'm going to do everything in my power to be nasty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick, he's the guy that you'll probably be protecting, as long as Lord willing, anyway. Right, right. Um, talk about what kind of dynamic he brings to a, to a team and, and what you expect. God, Colin Kaepernick is an amazing player. You know, I, my three years I spent at SC, I watched him. You know, I watched him when he was at Nevada, and he's just an amazing player. And I think his ability to extend plays and move outside the pocket and run sort of kind of read options sometimes, it just is it allows. Um, our scheme to be very effective against defenses. And the defenses you face in the NFC West, or you will be facing, are some of the best in the NFL. you got some pretty potent defensive lines there. And I'm very excited. I am very <laughs> excited. Very. <laughs> Any more questions? Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, go to the Balboa Cafe, Marina District, Bay Area. I'll buy dinner. You got it. See ya.